Hi viewers, welcome to Learn Math Labs in Basic. Today we are going to see about how to use neural network toolbox in Math Lab. And also we have to discuss about example relevant to population forecasting or population prediction. A neural network nothing but uh, it going to be operated based upon the uh, operation of biological neuron of the human, right? So what's the actual operation of bi biological neuron, right? So that going to be imitated in the neural network toolbox or neural network model, okay? So in MATLAB, how we can use that neural network toolbox for a particular application or different applications. So here we go to uh, command window and you can type in and start. And here you can see that uh, different kind of uh, uh, application neural network toolbox. So there are different applications in that input output and uh, curve fittings, pattern organization, classification, clustering and uh, dynamics and uh, dynamic time series applications. Right? So today we are going to see about the input output and the curve fitting model. So for that just you have to click fitting app. Okay. So after clicking that uh, fitting app and then you can see the uh, next window this is neural fitting window so here only you are going to do some training process okay so next you have to click so here you can see that you need to provide two inputs one is input and the target right so here uh, we are going to see the problem of population forecasting or a population prediction right so for that i am going to wikipedia so in this you can see that the population for a uh, different years. So here you can see that. So this is the data we are having. So for that, just you have to create uh, one variable. So here I'm going to type a year. So year which is equal to 1947. So once again please yeah so 1950 and then 2007 and then 212, 213, 214, 215, 216, 217, 218, 219, 220, and then 2021. So, so you have to type here, so that will be appear in the space, right? So, next to you have to Pick the population so population so 330 so the uh, these are in million right 330 376 417 458 508 607 681 781 870 997 That is also our percent in the workspace, right? So, this year will be going to be the taken as the input, and uh, this population will be taken as the output. Okay, so next you have to go to click this new network. Here you can see the detail. So, here will be input, 
and uh, pop is the output okay so next i'm going to click matrix rows sorry matrix columns so we have 22 samples of phone elements right next i'm going to click next button and then so here you can see that uh, uh, here we are going to segregate that means you have to separate the sample for different uh, process so for training uh, validation and testing right so here you can see that you can change the the percentage for uh, validation and testing okay so here i'm going to use the default value okay so next you can fix the number of neuron right so in, in neural network right we do have different layer uh, input layer hidden layer and output layer uh, input layer uh, normally that neuron is relevant to number of inputs and output layer um, this depends upon number of output we are um, giving uh, as a target right and then in between input layer and output layer there is another layer nothing but hidden layer so here in hidden layer we need to provide some number of neurons so default they are provided 10 so we can change the the hidden neuron values so as per your requirement right so i am going to use the default value and click next and then here you can see that you can see the different uh, training algorithm lm um, pr and uh, sc scg right so you can choose any kind of algorithm so i am going to use lm algorithm for training process just just i'm going to click train now so here you can see that after training right here you can see that the value of uh, mean squared error and then r value r value nothing but the recursion value right so this r value should be near to one right when r r value should be near to one that what's the meaning then trained neural network right will trained with the or input and the target data so that is the meaning so here i'm going to click plot regression right so here you can see that the value of r for training testing and validation and all okay is around 0.99 so it will be a trained well so no problem so next you go to click next button and next button so here i'm going to use this neural network and simulink model so for that i'm going to click simulink diagram and then so these are the inputs so here you can see that uh, so this is a uh, trained neural network so that going to be used for uh, uh, testing okay so here i'm going to use a display and then here you can provide the uh, year okay so So here I'm going to provide the year is 1947 and then I'm going to simulate the model. So here I'm going to use INF. So just I'm going to change the input regularly. So here you can see that for trained model. So when I'm putting 1947, so it providing the on the population is around 423.1 but here we actually we have 313 so next i'm going to provide uh, the year is 2020 uh, here you can see that the uh, neural network predicted population is 1388 so here you can see the actual value is 1365 so this is because of the uh, that mean error in that uh, model for example uh, here you can see that the recursion right is around 0.99 only and also you can see that uh, uh, mean squared error right so this is very high right so how to avoid this problem right so for that so you can use uh, a number of data very very num high number of data like so here we are taking only 22 samples right so we can use uh, uh, data like uh, so i'm going to use here here i mean double time right and then i'm going to use population which is equal to pop pop so here i'm going to increase the number of samples now right so here you can see that i'm increasing the number of sample to 44 
okay so now i'm going to re retrain the model right uh, by using that uh, toolbox so again i'm going to fitting app and then click next and then i'm going to feed the input data and then i'm going to feed output data target data and then i'm going to click next 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 now i'm going to train the model so now you can see that the array will be reduced almost errors is reduced right if suppose you, you increase the number of samples right and then you can uh, reduce the error right so now also you can see that the error will be three right so this is also not acceptable so what i'm going to do right i'm going to do p1 equal to so i'm going to increase more number of samples and y1 equal to so oh, one kind of problem is number of samples in the neural network right so when you have a lot more number of uh, samples right then this will be work fine okay so now i increase the number of samples around uh, uh, 132 right so next i'm going for fitting app and then next i'm going to select the input and the output and going for training process so looking for the minimum training right minimum training error right so here somewhat it have minimum error so i'm going to click next and click next and then i'm going to use this disassembling diagram and then i'm going to use in the in this milling model and then i'm going to provide the same input for both neural network so this one having uh, a trained neural with the less number of samples so this is trained with the uh, more number of samples so that can so this is trained with the 22 samples is trained with the 132 samples let me check the result so here you can see that for 2020 right here they are providing the result 1388 here 1369 but actually they have 1365 so when you have to increase the number of samples right you will get the result near up to that so next i'm going to make the year equal to 1957447947 and then you will check the result so here you can see that so this model that mean uh, neural network trained with the higher number of sample provide the accurate result for the particular year 1947 so let i'm going to check another year 1990 so here uh, 1990 right so 1990 the result will be 870 so this model will be provide the better result but this model provide only 855 that means 860 right it is having error of uh, 10 million right so uh, so this is working of neural network toolbox that means a fitting app neural, neural network toolbox so when uh, you are going to use fitting uh, uh, neural network toolbox then you have to collect the more number of samples for training the neural network so then you, you will get the better results so this is working of uh, neural network toolbox for a uh, population prediction and uh, forecasting uh, one more thing, uh, I'm going to predict the population for uh, 2025. So, in 2025, so here you can see that, uh, so it will be providing uh, some uh, irrelevant data, right? So, uh, when you want to use neural network for prediction, right? So, we need to collect the more number of samples. So then it will be work fine. Okay. So this is working up in your toolbox. Thank you. Thanks so much. Bye bye.